Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on indices and logarithms. In this video, we'll be looking at simultaneous equations involving indices and logarithms. So we start with the problem. Given that 3 raised to power 2x minus 3y is equal to 243 and log x to base y is equal to 2, find the values of x and y. So in our solution to this problem, we are going to express the first equation as index form. Like the 243 can be expressed as index form of 3. So that will give us 3 raised to power 2x minus 3y is equal to 3 raised to power 5. 3 raised to power 5 gives 243. So the bases now are now in base 3. Therefore, the indices will now be equal so that we have 2x minus 3y is equal to 5. So we've equated the indices. We call that equation 1. Then we go to the second equation, which is logarithmic equation. We know the law of logarithm, which is log m to base n is equal to a, then m is equal to n raised to power a. In this case, our m is x and our n is y, so our a is 2, which means our x is equal to y raised to power 2. x is y raised to power 2. We call that equation 2. We then put equation 2 in equation 1. We are solving by substitution. So in that case, wherever you see x in equation 1, you put y squared. So that will now give us 2y squared minus 3y so we are bringing this 5 to the left hand side so that we now form a quadratic equation the quadratic equation is 3y squared minus 3y minus 5 is equal to 0. we then now solve by factoring method we are going to factorize this to factorize this we have 2y minus 5 into y plus 1 is equal to 0. From here, it is very clear now that y is 2.5 and the y is equal to negative 1. So that's it for the values of y. We then go ahead to get the values of x. So from equation 2, where x is equal to y squared, we are going to be substituting each of the values of y. So that when y is 2.5, x will be 2.5 squared and 2.5 squared is 6.25 then when y is equal to negative 1 x will be negative 1 squared and negative 1 squared is equal to 1 so the values of x and y will now be the first coordinate is 6.25 2.5 we have it as 6.25 comma 2.5 and uh, x is 1 y is negative 1 so we have it as 1 comma negative 1 so these are the values of x and y as required in the problem and that's the end of solution to this problem i hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching please like and share this video until we come your way again Goodbye.